Hey Zelda fans, this is Elu from KnightsofHyrule.org, and this is SC Knuckles' second playthrough of Oracle of Ages. Were y'all guys expecting a mailbag? Whoa, you're in the wrong position. And second of all, I don't see Elu anywhere in this video, so let's get started with the Moonlit Grotto. Okay, a favorite of mine, based on the music. I do like the music. The music of Ages always seems to be good. I definitely have to agree with you on that one. Oh, hey, the Bull's voice visit us again. Definitely one of my favorite little enemies. They're so cute. Well, Pulse voice, you didn't like Ricky's flute before, so what do y'all think of the harp? Oh, come on, Link's playing's not that bad. You must need some practice. Ugh. I wonder if saying hello to them even kills them. <laughs> They're so sensitive. Anyway, folks, let's move on. <laughs> Got the map right away, and... Okay, don't scroll really quickly. Ow! I knew I was to get too close to that. That's okay, I always do the same thing. <laughs> Luckily, I came prepared for something later. And Moldorms. These are Moldorms, right? I always thought they were mini Moldorms, since I thought Moldorms were... I'm pretty sure that they have an actual, um, like... Mean, but they are the Moldorm type thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay, these guys. And knock this out. Whoa, earthquake. It's a loud sound knocked off. Hmm, it's the Eagle's Tower over again. A Link's Awakening Dungeon. <laughs> I actually really like that game. Oh, turntable puzzle now. <laughs> And uh, more cracks to get rid of. Uh, Link, can you throw a bomb correctly, please? <laughs> Failing like mad. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Keep it going. And if, unfortunately, a bomb will not destroy that. Oh well. Okay, let's uh. Make this game was a lot more. Puzzly than yeah, it is. Let's try and make the place collapse as we keep knocking out crystals. <laughs> and put this in the right spots. And catch a key that just randomly falls from the roof. Who put it up there? I wonder. <laughs> that always makes me wonder why would why would keys just drop from the ceiling? From the roof, yeah. Oh, I got it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, P hats. Nice to see y'all again. Not. No, I definitely, definitely don't like them. No, I think they're a lot better in. Actually, I think I've messed around. This little turntable thing. That little turntable thing always confuses me. I don't. I can't. Uh... Yeah, I used to figure it out easily. I'm like, okay, which way do I go? Okay, going up again. Okay, what's up here, and... Oh my god, like likes! I don't like you, like likes! You scare me! Oh. I, I, I don't even go up to them, I just kind of avoid them. Oh, right. These guys, harmless statues. I came prepared. Bomb-proof ring. No damage from my own bombs. Very cool. Very These guys cool. in the first playthrough, I all had to kill them with bombs only, and I always ran out. But luckily, since this is the linked version of Ages, I got the bomb secret and carry more. Don't... That's one thing I really liked about this uh, the Oracle games was the whole linking thing. I wish I wish they'd do that again with something with one of the new games or something like that. I think that would just be really cool. Who knows? It might come back. I would like to see that again. But it just depends on Nintendo's needs, and I'm getting hurt mad. I don't like you armo statues. Why can't y'all get killed by the sword? Like in Zelda 1. Or, or I don't have a boomerang yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, I took a beating. They're fast, though. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Not that fast here. Okay. Let's put the gold joy ring back on. And attacking tiles. Away. That's the 
is probably one of the weirdest things in the Zelda games is just being attacked by the four screens. Yeah. Just so random. I wonder who even thought of that. I was like, yeah, I have a good idea for it. I mean, how about the four attacks you? Watch where you step. Otherwise, something could shoot off. Like in Twilight Princess. Which is a game I know you despise. <laughs> Oh no, I don't despise it. <laughs> I like it as a game, it's just my least favorite of the entire series. The only reason I prefer it is because it has the appropriate amount of dungeons. Eight of them. I'm like, that's yeah. what they need in every single Zelda game, to be honest. At least eight. They need a lot more. Yeah, they need a, they need a lot more. Because Skyward, uh, though it was good, I didn't like how many there were, just six. It was very easy. I, I think I understand why they did that. They, you know, didn't want to make more with so much to do in the whatever. If, if you want to call it an overworld, but I still, I still, you know, more dungeons. I never count the final area as a dungeon either. <laughs> no. There's no heart container at the end. If there's no heart container, I don't count it as a dungeon. I think that's the the one. The one area I liked the most in everything was that last little area. The whole puzzling place? You have yeah. to choose what room is next? It was like the one... Honestly, I didn't really like the dungeon stuff. I really liked that one. The Earth Temple I liked just because of its music. And I was surprised they brought it back again. I was like, Earth Temple? Wait, this doesn't match Wind Waker. Oh, I, I, I like all the music. Oh, it was okay. Not the crystal down. So I guess this place is gonna collapse on me soon. Oh wow. Well. well, while Zelda's always gonna be a franchise of your favorite, you are into Metroid, right? I love Metroid. At the time, what is your favorite big Metroid game? Um, right now, I'm probably gonna have to say Super Metroid or, um, the first Prime. It's hard for me to choose which one is my favorite because there's different elements of what I like. Corruption is my favorite right now. Just because of the police awesome. I didn't... As, uh, corruption was okay for me. I, I don't know, it just seemed... I don't know. The control it, scheme was what I liked. <laughs> well, I liked it. I, I really actually liked the control scheme and that... I, I still love the first Prime the most with the Wii control scheme. I just, oh, I oh. love it so much. Oh, yeah. The On the trilogy <laughs> one. Yeah, I have, I have both, I have the GameCube ones and the trilogy. So the trilogy one is harder. I didn't, I didn't feel that way. Uh, well, I it's because there's a certain enemy you meet in the impact crater comes early. The fusion Metroids. Yeah, uh, yeah. Those come early. But it, those are, they're not, they're not so... Yeah. Uh, you have a favorite boss in the Metroid, and if it's Ridley, I wouldn't be surprised. No, um, I actually, I don't really like Kraid, I think it's a lot, it's due to the theme. <laughs> I would love to see him in a 3D game. Yes, I agree, oh my gosh, that would be He has so not been in what, since Zero Mission? And actually, you know what, I really, as much as um, other M makes me want to rip my hair out because that game bothers me so much. Oh. Um, I really like how they revisited uh, the Queen Metroid from oh, is yes. the thing, from two. If you played two, I have played, you know, played them all. Yeah, yeah. So I was really happy because that game, that entire game, bothered me and made me angry. But that's the one thing that I think redeemed it was the revisiting of that boss. Revisiting is so many bosses in there. But that one, you know, that's one that was just so unique and out there, and they really didn't, you know, do it again. Of course, some others that were there was, I didn't, from Fusion, if you remember the Nightmare, I was like, where did he come from? Oh, what the hell? It bothered me. I don't know. It was a cool boss, though. Yeah. Just when you take off his mask, my god, he's ugly. <laughs> I want to turn I I I like down just think a bit, I can hear myself a little bit. Oh. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me figure it out. <laughs> uh, is that better? Oh, 
Okay. Well, every now and then. Yep. You didn't have any problem with the voice acting in other end, did you? Uh with with um Samus, yeah, I did. Oh. I Is it because I, she I said baby too, too much? Huh? Is it because she said baby too much? Well, not really. Um it was more because she just seemed like an emo little <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Um I just I I have so many issues with other M that, I mean, I don't, I could rant about it for days, so. I could never have a perfect run of that game, to be honest. I always die at some point. That's one game, you know, I, I, it was easy, but I really love the control scheme, as, except the part where they have to switch to first person. Yeah. That was yeah. repeated, and that should never have happened, but the whole, like, side-scrolling semi-whatever you want to call it. That was really cool, and I love that idea, but, I mean, that's about it that was good for the game and everything else. Okay, I think it's time okay. to knock this place down. Destroy it. And, down it comes. Yep. Sounds like something heavy yep. fell down. I wonder what... Yep. A treasure chest? Yep. Really? Yep. Yep. <laughs> With a gosh, it's sweet. Hopefully the trees are gonna be generous with me, because they have not given me any heart pieces. My favorite bus comes from Echoes. Oh yeah, that game was actually- I really liked that game for how difficult it was. You wanna take a guess at what my favorite one is? <laughs> huh? You wanna take a guess at what my favorite one is? I guess Echoes? <laughs> Well, who my favorite boss is. Oh, no, I don't know which one. Okay, I'll... Okay, we'll play a little game here. You can guess, and every time you're wrong, I'll give a hint. Oh, no. Don't do that. I'll give a hint whenever you're wrong. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you know what? You know what I didn't like in Echoes? Um... The backtrack. Actually... Backtrack. What? The backtracking? Backtrack. No, I, I love backtracking in Metroid. That's, like, one of my favorite things in the series. Um... But, the, I guess the first little, I, I wouldn't call it a boss, the first little mini boss thing that you, um, when you first play and you get locked in with it in the sand. You know what I'm talking about? Hmm. You're like a little worm thingy. Oh, the, uh, oh. the, uh, bomb yeah. guardians. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, um, that's him. <laughs> I remember who they all are. They... That's the- I don't know what it was about that, that I just- I got so mad. Um, I- I didn't- Oh, that, that one just made me so mad. <laughs> I didn't have any problems with him, yeah. but you don't want to- I don't- I don't, I, don't, I don't know why that, um, I don't- I still have- to this day I have trouble with them. I don't- I- maybe it's just because I get, like, really anxious when I'm in an enclosed area. Mm. Oh, I so you don't want to take a guess at my favorite one? <laughs> Every time you're wrong, I'll give a hint. Maybe the spider guardian? Nope. Okay, first hint. Guards a place. Guards a place. Um, guards a place or guards like an item? <laughs> well, he does hold an item, but really he guards a place. Um, shoot, let me see if I can um, <laughs> I don't know, is it like the Dark Missile Trooper thing? Nope. Okay, second hint. Tied with another boss. He has He's the most scannable things. Oh, sh I wouldn't know that. Uh, <laughs> come on, I don't count that. <laughs> um, you said he. So, is it the Ing boss emperor thingy? 
No. <laughs> okay, uh, third hint. Um, what did I have for this one? The biggest of all. Killing me with this. <laughs> I don't even remember the names of them. It's, it's not the, uh, what's, oh, what's it called? The quad thingamajig? Quadraxes. Quad I got it? Quadraxes. Quad <laughs> Yay! Yeah, that was, um, for whatever reason, that reminds me of, like, like a, like a, like a Gundam or something. I don't know why. I mean, Is it true so he's the biggest he's boss the ever in Metroid? Um, I don't know because if you, I mean, if you want to count, like, say, some of the, the 2D games, um, some of the enemies are, like, really huge, but then once they're revisited, they're not the same size, so I don't really know. I think um, he okay. is, though. I mean, Crate is big, but... Well, Crate was big, uh, but I then again... Tall, you know, maybe, like, but not as wide as Kofi. Yeah. But like, like, um, the nightmare thing, for instance, was one size in one game, then different in the other, and it was like, you can't really, I don't, I don't know if, like, the 2D games would be considered actual size, or just made that size because of the sprite limitations and screen limitations. Who knows? So, I think, um, you know what else was big, though, was, um, uh, the one in the first Prime, that plant thing in... Yeah. Flagra? I don't remember what its name is. Where you have it's to really knock huge. out the satellites on them. Yeah, yeah, and that was huge too. He was tall, but not as wide. <laughs> when I say um, size, I mean all together. Uh, width, you mean all, all dimensions. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah maybe. Okay, bus room. And it's <laughs> the Wicked Witch the of the Wicked. Moonlit Grotto. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is where the scent, scent seeds come in handy. Okay, come behind me already. Oh, pss. oh damn it. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Don't touch the puddles. This boss never gave me any problems at all. Okay. Boss reminded me of, um... The pose from Ocarina of Time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, pff, oh, too long. Too long. Ow. Ow. Link, watch where you're Link. stepping. Okay, uh. Oh, stupid bats. <laughs> getting unlucky here. Ah. Uh. Two hits. Two hits. Ugh. Ugh. That one should have worked. Oh, no. Car in the back. Car. <laughs> yeah, there's um. I live in the ghetto, so there's ghetto people with ghetto cars doing ghetto things. So I, I apologize for that. Bye. 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 <laughs> Finally defeat. Finally. And there it is. There you go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Echoing at all. It echoes far yeah, across the plank of the snake. Insolent heart. Insolent. Third dungeon Third completed. Hooray! Alright. What now? What is this? It's pretty flashy for a 2D game. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Looks like the black uh -oh. tower is getting higher. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, the tower's getting taller now. Oh. I wonder where the, she gets the resources for all that stuff. Who knows? Uh, Mako, oh. what do you want now? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Link, you have the echoing howl. But things are not going well. The black tower is nearing completion in the past. Terrible things will happen if you don't hurry. I hear an essence echoing from the peaks northwest of Lynn City. 
can you go? Jeez, Tree, you, you talking to me like we're married already <laughs> since you proposed. <laughs> anyway, it's very yeah. Tree. Yeah, no. yeah. Anyway, folks, anyway, that completes the third dungeon. Third dungeon. Elu, thank you so much for being a guest in this project. Of course. And uh, next time, folks, we will continue on with our quest. Second playthrough of Oracle of Ages. To be continued.